At the end of this video, you're going to see me playing with a whole lot of anger, and this is often misinterpreted by fellow pool players and, you know, pool room owners and pretty much all of society. And if you dig deep into the heart of the situation and take a little bit of time, you'll see that the pool player is most often not angry at anyone but themselves, but they're not conveying that fact. So society has no way of knowing what's going on. Uh, it's energy, and the problem is that people don't know what it is, and they use it to destroy instead of produce. Because they have no clue, they can use it as something productive. This is what makes it dangerous. People don't know how to direct it. And for some people, this technique simply does not work. It makes them try too hard, and they actually get worse. And so there's a line in there. And because they don't know what it is, it can actually make people sick, it can drive people crazy, it can make them quit pool altogether, and, you know, things can get even worse than that, but I won't get into it. Now, I'm not a psychologist, but I know what this is because... I've dealt with it a lot. And when I was young, I didn't know what it was, but I realized that my level of play increased a lot when I was pissed off. Then, because I was ignorant and because I was playing so much pool, I went from being an angry pool player to being an angry human being 24-7. And no one wants to live like this. I don't care what anyone says. And that's because it zaps all of the glory in life. No matter how good life gets, and if you're still an angry person, there's no way to enjoy the glory. And this ultimately winds up leaving you no friends, no support, and that feeds off itself and makes the person even angrier.
And I've, I've always been a serious pool player. I never went out, you know, playing pool for fun and games and being with my friends and having a good time. And I believe this is essential for being a great pool player. And this is one reason the pool players look like miserable people having no fun when they're playing pool. But trust me, if, if they're playing good and they're running racks and they're winning, they're having a blast. They, they've just learned over the years not to show this until it's over, until it's done, until it's all won, until there's nothing more to it. Every human being on planet Earth gets angry sometimes, and they have a perfect human right, and it's perfectly natural and perfectly normal. If someone tries to chastise you for this and tell you that it's not normal, they're either messing with your head and trying to make themselves feel superior to you, and they're trying to downgrade you and hurt you, or they're simply 100% ignorant. Everybody gets pissed. Getting pissed is what makes us stand up for ourselves and end any abuse that we're dealing with. Go get a better job. You change things. Getting pissed is, is what gives us the energy to do something productive.
that's the secret to being a real true champion is to use that energy to bring out your killer instinct and to use it to win. Everything else can wait. There's no champion spineless pool player. And it's true, nice guys finish last if they're being nice on the table. They can be nice before the tournament and after the tournament and doing interviews with all these websites and stuff. But being nice does not work on the pool table. You just have to learn to take that anger and make it something that you do and do everything in your power to keep it from becoming who you are. Thank <laughs> you.